sneaky sewer rats invading this home. And, and we're, we're about, about to, to track, track them down, down right now. guys so we're gonna meet Evan right now who contacted us through his pest control company that's been dealing with this house Evans hearing them apparently in the wall they hired a plumber and they poked a camera in the laundry room and apparently they found a lot of rat droppings so we know or they know they're coming through the sewer question is where so let's go meet Evan he'll uh, take us around figure out what the issue is and then we're gonna start with the smoke test and uh, let's see what we can do to track these bad babies down yeah, so you've got a lot of yeah. a lot of activity up in the ceiling area. Yeah, it's been a, a real challenge. So we worked with a previous company. Um, they did a actually they found evidence of possums and raccoon up in the attic. So we were able to go through insurance to get all that cleaned out. Okay. Um, and then we finally narrowed down the problem to the drain pipe, the washer drain pipe in the garage. They stuck a camera down there. They found feces, so they were coming up through the sewer. So we sealed that off. Um, we had about a month of no activity, but as of you know the past couple of weeks, we've had more activity again. So they referred us to you guys to kind of help us with the plumbing issue because that's not necessarily their expertise. Their expertise, awesome. Nope. Okay. So, Perfect. Can you tell us where you're hearing the scratching on this side of the house? Yeah, so if you want to come sure. on. So a lot of the activity out here is going to be behind the tub, especially on this wall and behind this wall. Okay. Um, and also on this wall, if you actually look in the attic, there's a gap between this wall because this is this there's the guest bathroom and the main bathroom. So there's a gap in this wall that they're using to get up into the attic. Um, and they actually seal that off with wire to try and keep them in one side of the house, either above or below. Okay. Um, but you're also gonna hear a lot of activity above the master bedroom, all over these walls. And a lot of the times I can hear them along this side, but also in the uh, guest bathroom, or the master bathroom, I'm hearing a lot on this wall, scratching up here okay. as well, you'll hear them. How long has the pest control company been working on it since you guys determined that it's the sewer? You know, you obviously you called them because of the possums and. Mm -hmm. But how long have they been dealing with the rat situation? Um, probably about three months, I would say. How successful was the rat trapping in the crawl space? It was pretty good. I think we've probably, in the history of the home, we've trapped maybe about 12 rats on okay. the property. So we've actually trapped five in the kitchen. That was before we started working with the company. Um, we trapped five in the kitchen, and once they got in the kitchen, we, you know, we're like, all right, we're we're done with this. They're getting in the home. Yeah. So we actually had our contractor come out and sealed out all the gaps between underneath the the cabinets and all that. Yep. Um, but since we sealed all the little gaps that we found in the kitchen, they're not coming in. They're not yeah. coming in. Anymore. You know, what's amazing to me too, Evan, is that the home is absolutely spotless. So it's quite <laughs> odd that you've got rodents that are mm -hmm. usually coming in through the city sewer and yep. into the home, especially with no food source. Cause the house, like, like I said, it's yeah. completely spotless. Yeah. So. I mean, I just, I came out to get a drink of water one night and sure enough, there's rats sitting up here and I'm like, oh. sit right up on the oven right yeah, here. Oven cooked up. Okay. Yeah. Well, Wow. That's, but again, that was way before. Way before. Yeah. We got okay. with, the, with the, uh, the pest control company. Yeah. I think uh, if you want to check the garage. Yeah, let's check the garage out. This is where that laundry is. Yep. Yeah, so there might be, there might be one smell. trapped. I can smell it. I can smell yeah. it. Real strong. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. if you walk in, right? So it there's, smells like a, like a, a, there's a trap. I think right along under the stove. I think there's still, they've left about four active traps. So eight, 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 eight traps on the property. Yeah, there's some, something going on. Yeah, so I think there's four traps below the property and four traps up in the attic. Yeah. Oh, man. There's a lot of airflow. You could just, mm -hmm. it's coming out right there. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. And well. that's that's where they stuck the camera and found the droppings, and it goes straight to the sewer. All right, well, we've got a big day ahead of us, Evan. We're going to keep you posted, my friend. Yep. And um, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's head up to the roof and do our uh, sniff check here. What, what I don't understand is the pest control company, they knew that they were coming in through the sewer. I don't understand why they wouldn't cover the vents then. Very, very strange. Okay, so this is above, sort of by the laundry area. It smells like sewer. Hmm, nope. Smells like sewer. Now this is the tub area here. Don't ever sniff rat urine on an empty stomach because it's 
disgusting. So we get questioned a lot with, hey, how do the sewer rats come into my home? Why my home? Well, these guys, these creatures are super, super intelligent. What they're doing is they're traveling through the city sewer line and they'll go into your lateral. What's interesting about these sewer rats is that if there's a, a breach in that lateral where there's root intrusion, a break, they'll literally burrow their way through or they'll come up through into your home and just like what Evan said, they will go through uncapped pipe, open pipes in the wall. They are brilliant, brilliant creatures. They know when there's an air flow from a house 300 feet away. So that's how they're choosing your house. So it's imperative when you're doing remodels, make sure that the contractors are capping those pipes off. They're completely raising up all the way to the roof. Those things like that make a huge difference from rats entering into your home through the sewer. So before we introduce the smoke, we're gonna go ahead and run the camera, see if we see any, any openings. Uh, I'm not seeing anything on the camera, or I'm not seeing anything that shows any sort of breach. The pipe actually looks to be okay, so it's to be interesting. All right, so we're obviously starting with the most impacted. All right, I'm gonna head down inside the house and see if we're seeing any smoke. Dave's getting ready to go underneath the crawl space. Always wanna look for smoke coming out of electrical sockets like this, because that, that vent is somewhere in this wall. So if there is a breach, a lot of times you could see uh, the smoke coming out of the electrical. Make sure I have enough extension cord because I gotta go all the way around. Okay. Not much room under here either. Let me get underneath here, okay? So, all right, guys, let's. Good thing I lost about six pounds here in the last two weeks because this is, as you can see, a tight crawl space here. I wish there was an opening right here because just on the other side of this is where the bathroom is, but okay. There's the outside, so I'll take a little breather here and breathe some fresh air. Ooh, is that dirt or is that smoke? I don't know if you can tell, but I might see some smoke here. We gotta get closer. One tip, always tie your extension cords like this because the last thing you want is your power to disconnect while you're dragging your light across the crawl space. All right, let's get down to the rats here. I think I see smoke, guys. I think I see smoke. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Freaking dead rat. Right there, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that thing. What's wrong, little boy? Why aren't you moving? Huh? We're gonna have to take you out. Yep. How we doing, Dave? Got a rat right here looking at me. Are there's you my, serious? There's my brother Jim right there. You got a live rat? There's a live rat. I think he's he's just starting to his eyes are wide open. He's trying to move, but I don't know if he ate poison or what, and he's slowly dying off, but he's right here. No way. Oh, you see yeah. any smoke? I do see smoke, but I haven't uh, I haven't been able to get under there to figure out where it's at. Oh, um, I see the rat. I see the eyes right there looking towards me. Oh, you do see him? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. He's... You want to? Uh, you want your copper pipe and putty and knock him out or? Um. I, well, I, I guess I can crawl back. What do you need? I just need a. I need to get a bag. I want to get him out of here. You just come right here and I'll open this up. All right, I'm going to give this to my brother Dave here. I've got a... Uh... Here you go, Dave. Okay, Here's a bag. Go get him, dude. Go get him. I'm going to play a trick on my brother Jimmy. Let's see how he reacts. Oh, Jim. What? God. What? Freaking rat ran away, bro. Oh, Dave. God, man. Quickly? Yeah, just took off. Huh? Just kidding. Oh, I set that bag up right there. Squeeze that right there. That's a biggie. That's a biggie. 
Look at him biting. Look at him biting. Look at him biting. Fighting for his life. Uh. Oh, come here. Uh. 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 Look at that <sighs> All right, let's drag him out of here. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, guys, like, hey, hey, guys, like, <laughs> I get some fresh dirt over that. I gotta crawl right through here. Okay, let's continue with uh, this way. Never know, we can find another rat here. More importantly, I wanna find that smoke. It does look like some shoddy workmanship on the plumbing side. Looks like an old galvanized pipe here, but uh, connected to plastic pipe. Oh, yep, I see the smoke. All right, let's, uh, let's get in here. Yeah, I knew it. Be right underneath this tub here. Look at that smoke. Somebody got clever, took a steel pipe, put it into the ABS, and then they just siliconed it here. But the smoke is coming from above. So, and you can see, look at all the, the rat nesting material on the ground. So this is definitely a yeah. very active rat area right here in the crawl space. Okay, let's go around here. Let's see. Uh, all right, guys, so he was underneath the tub. Rats love nesting underneath the tub. This is one of their favorite, it's a favorite, favorite hot spot for rats. I'm gonna get the other side here. I can't even see that, guys, so I'm hoping the camera can pick it up. There's something going on behind this tub, but I can't. We'll have to open up on the wall in the hallway. Smoke coming out of that wall. I have the camera here. I'll use the GoPro as sort of my eyes. Does look like there's a lot of activity back here. Oh, 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 it's higher. It's coming up from above. Right. Yep, it's all right there. Look at that. Bam. Yeah, it's much higher up. Yeah, and that's right where that rat was, too. Yep, okay. Yeah, there's nothing I can see here. We got to go up and open up. All right, guys. Get the hell out of here. So we're going to have to open up here. We definitely, definitely don't want to open up the shower, although I think the break could be here, but this is going to be easier. Then we'll be able to take our flashlight and look inside of this wall here and see what we get. We got to get Evan's permission. Question for you. Did you remodel? Have these showers or bathrooms been remodeled in the last five, ten years? I'm going to assume they've been remodeled. So my in-laws purchased this house, I think, about six years ago. Okay. And we haven't changed anything since then but there probably has been some remodeling some done. Remodeling done yeah a lot of times during the remodel the remodeler guys would you know cut a vent leave it open mm -hmm. and then continue on with the rest of the plumbing Forget, so that uh, forgetting about connecting that back. that's why it's imperative to open up a small incision just so we can get an eye of mm -hmm. what's going on there and that's directly above that toilet yeah we can do that okay, okay. cool okay. oh this is full of rat poop here look at this screen guys next to his return Literally just put it up. Evan just said that he hears them on his uh, air conditioning as well. I know Evan talked about uh, they waited for about three weeks to put the insulation back. And even though that's a long time, which is great, but they should have waited until all rat infestation was completely eradicated. So sometimes it could take a month, but look at this now. We're the last guys in here. Now we're faced with you know, trying to uh, envelop this whole rat infestation. So it makes our job a lot harder, a lot much more difficult. All right, so we've got everything sort of contained here. Got the bag. That's the size of hole that we're gonna make right there. So there is a, uh, a little space here. So we're not quite sure if that vent is within this space. We're hoping it's right here, but um, cause we certainly don't wanna have to open up that tile there. And then behind this shower wall is this. Uh, fiberglass so Dave's gonna tap on or Dave's gonna have one tap on the pipe up on the roof and uh, just make sure that this is the the one but I don't see any ABS up stepping out so that's that's the interesting part Thompson does that ABS go all the way up through the roof or does it stop it goes it looks like it goes to the roof through the roof 
It does? Yeah. Are you sure? Because I don't see any ABS up on the roof. You know, it's like two vent pipes next to each other, the middle and the... You see it? Huh. Okay. So we know that this ABS, guys, is not the issue. Unfortunately, the pipe's behind this behind tile. This area right here. Yes. And there's no, there's no access. So now, guys, instead of disturbing this, disturbing the tile, we're going to open this up right here and hopefully look down and maybe we can get some type of uh, idea of what's going on. Let's see if I can get the camera in here first. There's the pipe. Where? Right there? No. The oh, wait. Uh, oh, well, is that a separation right there? You know. No, that's just the pipe running. And it's just another fire block. I'm trying to remove a fire block because it's in the way. Dave's using the vacuum. You getting smoke? Yes. So we're not getting any smoke coming up out of here. It's staying down below, so we know that the break is lower. Darn it. All this wood right here, you guys. Can't get behind that. All right, guys, well, we definitely found the breach in that wall. So it's up to Evan, you know, he can maybe hire his own plumber, you know, but that bathroom tub's definitely gonna have to come out and uh, that entire wall's gonna have to be sanitized. The plumbing's gonna have to be fixed. So the good news is we found the issue where they're coming in for sure. And there's a couple things underneath this water heater as well, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and report our findings over to Evan. All right, so uh, Thompson found a, uh, an entry port underneath this water heater here. Look at that right there. And what Thompson is saying is right above the water heater is a lot of droppings. So we definitely want to make sure that Evan knows about that. All right, we're gonna wrap things up here. Now that we found the issue, only way to get access is to tear this fiberglass tub out. So we're gonna to have to let Evan know that that's the only option. We've exhausted all attempts to try to get in this area. This is all wood framing right here. And here we've ran the camera to see if we could do our pipe coating. So there's something in the horizontal pipe that's disconnected from this vertical. And that's where the issue is going to be. So we're just going to kind of clean up here and then let uh, Evan know what the next steps are to resolve this. So we got good news and we got bad news. What do you want to hear first? Uh, I guess bad news? Bad news is this. <laughs> bad news is we can access it. We opened up here, hoping we can get in here, but this is a bunch of wood structure here. Mm -hmm. Two by four wood here, and the vent is right here. Mm -hmm. So they're getting through that vent? So they're getting through this vent here. You wow. have two vents in here. All of this venting is fine. That, goes the to that picks up the toilet and the lab mm -hmm. for the master. And then there's an old galvanized vent. We actually went back underneath the house, re-smoked mm -hmm. to confirm. And then I got up on the roof, mm -hmm. manipulated the smoke within the drain system to activate here, mm -hmm. just to see if we can get a better idea. And it's all right here. So yeah, we're in yeah. smoke right here, Evan. Down, I, when we initiate the, uh, the smoke inside, we can see the smoke burrowing in this area, but there's just so much wood and everything that we can't see the exact location because uh, it's all so the only so there's two options that you have the best option obviously is to remove this fiberglass tub once you do it's destroyed you're not going to be able to save this fix the breach sanitize the inside of the wall and then uh, we can monitor after that we also are going to screen off all the vents up on the roof um, if you don't want to go through opening or take taking this tub down then only option we would be able to do is Go outside, find a clean out, put in a, a backflow preventer so the rats don't come in and then seal off underneath, seal off up here the best we can. But there's really no guarantee with that. Not only that, if we block off the sewer, you might start get a like a sewer gas smell coming in with this breach here. It really just depends on the airflow flowing through these walls and then into the indoor air space. So what's the good news? Well, the good news is we found the breach right here in this wall. So we, we locate it. Sometimes it's difficult to, 
to locate where the breach is and we're able to do that. So we were hoping, good. Evan, with this hole here that, oh, perfect, because we saw, like I said, we saw the smoke here, but there's stud after stud after stud, so we can't get right here. All right, Evan, well, I'm, uh, we were happy to at least we found what the issue was behind that bathroom. Sorry we couldn't resolve it and yeah. fix the pipe because we're, we're dealing with the back-to-back -back bathrooms, but the good news is that we're able to find exactly where the breach is. And we got a rat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Evan, have a good rest of your day and we'll be in touch. Yep, sounds good. Well, guys, kind of bummed. Yeah. We're, we're, get we're, that we're, tub. We love finding it. That's, I mean, the good thing is we definitely found the breach in that wall and those back-to-back -back bathrooms. But David and I are like, we're so eager to get in there and fix the problem and really, but we're so tied, you know, between that tile and that tub and he's just, they're selling the house. So he has a lot to think about, but uh, we'll gonna, catch underneath that crawl space with that rat. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I think it's, uh, we're just going to send him some options, see if they get us back here. He's thinking about maybe just doing a full bathroom remodel. So I told him, you know what? If you choose us to do the bathroom remodel, we'll go ahead and include that repair sanitization because we've got to be in there anyways. Yep. All right, guys. Well, leave your comments down below. Love to hear what you have to say. Hit yeah. that subscribe button. Also too, if you're a pest control company out there yes. watching our videos, hey, we'd love for you guys to reach out. We are getting a lot of calls in Seattle, New York, yep. uh, Oregon, uh, up north. Uh, so if, if so, give us a call let's see if we can team up we're getting a lot of people calling us needing referrals and stuff so i'd love to get your feedback on that yep hey guys until then we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one, one.